tree. So welcome to the world of the singing chef. Let me make you sing and you taste buds. When all we want for you to see is how we're living in a blessed country. So welcome guys, thank you for tuning in. Welcome to the Singing Chef Show here, coming at you live from Georgetown, Guyana, South America. Okay, right. Um, well, today what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a saltfish pancake pizza, right? Which is basically kind of like interesting mix. It's actually, this is like um, kind, of in, in, uh, kind of inspired by Middle Eastern cooking. Okay, so what we need to do first is that we need to put some yeast in this bowl, right? That's about one packet, which is about, I think, 0.7 grams or something like that, right? We're going to put a little bit of this, which is, that's coconut milk. That's coconut milk, right? And I'm going to put a tiny bit of water. Right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna whisk this baby together a little bit. Oh, yes. Right, so now that we've got it in this, we're gonna add some salt, some sugar, Now what we're going to add is two eggs. One. It's pretty much just like making, um, you know, like making pancakes, really. All right. But at every stage, what you want to do is just emulsify it, get everything mixed in together. And then we're gonna add about half of this. You can use yogurt for this and all kind of stuff, but what I'm using is very thick coconut milk, which is just a lovely thing. Wow, it smells amazing. I'm just gonna add a bit of water just to loosen that up. All right. So guys, don't worry about the measurements and everything like that because I'm telling you, this is going to need some time um, to maturate, you know, we need to sit and swell um, and let all the bubbles go in because that was, that's what yeast actually um, produces on the inside. Um, but all the measurements come up on the screen periodically, so you, there's not that much you have to worry about missing. So, you just have to watch the way that we do it. All right. Okay. Got a little thing happening there. Okay, well that looks pretty good. Look, oh my gosh, it's now it's starting to bubble up. Let's just leave that nice and sealed like that, and right, that's our batter. Okay, for our um, saltfish pancake pizzas. So what we're doing, what I'm doing here, this is like some leaves of uh, kalalu and I'm doing a thing called chiffonade and chiffonade just means that like it looks like ribbons right right um, and it's a French term for that type of cut and then I'm gonna cut it into blocks because that's what I'm like right and that's gonna add some really lovely color to our to our pancake pizzas or saltfish pancake pizzas right we already got prepared saltfish there right and you can prepare it how I like what I did was I put like a little bit you know like a, I don't know some seasoning and all kind of stuff in there to make it nice you can just use straight saltfish you don't have to do it like this you know, you know so don't get too involved and don't panic too much let's put these on here um, what we're gonna need we um, our 
our uh, we need that you see that's all nice color so what else are we going to use we got yellow and we got red right so that's because that's what i want it to look like because i want it to look like a pizza i'm going to show you how we do that right let us dc these Put these in here. Sorry, I'm a little bit um, of an organized freak, so I don't really like getting my board dirty while I'm trying to, not dirty, but you know, with all sorts of stuff on it, right? So, you know, you just get them off. There you go. All right. But, Miss Camera, you could come in and just take just the hands. For me doing this, just getting rid of it. Oh, yo, yo, we just lost one pepper, one man overboard. Okay, I just want to get rid of this. Just make it nice and clean. We don't want any seeds. All right. There you go. One more. There you go. Oh, that looks all right. We'll just give it a little cut like that. Let's go with the master. Boom, 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 boom. So that's going to give us a nice red. Then I'm going to work on some yellow with the tomatoes. Tomatoes. I mean, you could use corn. You can use all kind of stuff in this, right? Um, you don't have to be conservative at all. Right? And you could even use, like, pineapple if you want. But, I mean, you got to be careful with that because it's, it's got a lot of acid in it. So it could break down the, um, the actual batter. So... You put it in at the last minute if you want to do stuff like that. Yeah. Welcome to the world of the singing show. We gonna make you sing and you taste cause you're red. From the Palmer Road or River to the East Coast, from the East to the East Bank, short to church, down the city. I can win you what I want to the hinterlands, from the Corentino River to Linden Town. All we want for you to do. Okay. So what we want to do with our sweet potatoes, let's see if we can get it really fine, actually. I think we can get it really fine. See what, yeah, that's looking good. And what's this going to give this really lovely, sweet kind of things through the dough? See what's going on here. Lovely. Look at that. That's beautiful. I'm glad we only used that one little piece because look, look how much sweet potato it is there. Okay. So what we're going to do is just put this to the side. Same board. Put it to the side there like that. Right. And we're going to get rid of this. And now we're going to do up our tomatoes, which I need to show you guys um, a little trick. 
to perfect tomatoes, believe it or not, is that you really must, let's get this off, clear that later. See the eye of the tomato? See this here? Just take it out. And then you got your tomato looking pretty. Right? And I want to cut my tomato sort of like this. Right? And then I could have it. I can do whatever I want with it to um, put over like that. See? And then just have, have all of them like that. Right? And that's going to go over and it's going to make it look like we got like tomato pizza. Right? The other way. Okay, let's take this out again. Right, and you know what? Just have it then, since that's what we're gonna do. Lovely. Right, have it. Yeah, that's easier to cut like that. Okay, so like we're getting everything here ready for making our Sawfish pancake pizzas. A very, 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 very nice thing. So we're going to put all the finished stuff over here, all ready for when we're going to be doing our pizza ring. And these we really pepper, we're going to reserve those for if we need them. I don't think we're going to need them, I think we can just put some black pepper over it. But I'm still going to put it on the side. Okay. So let's clean this up a little bit and then we're just going to cover it and we will be ready for to make our sawfish pancake pizzas in a second. Okay guys, let's see. Oh my gosh. This is almost gone completely out of the bowl. So let's just transfer this to something else. Here we go. And I've got, there's so much air bubbles in this thing. This thing just wants to grow bigger and bigger and bigger. But you know what we're going to do? We're going to just give this a little rinse. Or a little stir, not a rinse. Oh my gosh. Um, let's turn on. First of all, what I'm going to do is I, I shaved some, um, some sweet potato. So this first one I'm going to put in. This is not cheese, sweet potato. Mix that in. Okay, we got all the. Okay, now it's time. Let's add a red. Ah, you're gonna see how it's gonna start looking really lovely. Really, really lovely. Look at that. I like this. Okay. And then you can see it's missing some green. So we put in our uh, green onions. This is all flavor. Flavor, flavor, please. Right. Now we put in the color loop. Right. So we the sawfish already in there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some more sawfish because I'm feeling it. Put in more sawfish there. Yes, now that's starting to look like the bad boy that I want it to look like. 
Yes, yes, yes. And let it just sit like that. Right, gonna put a little bit more of this. Take time over this. This is the um, sweet potato. We grated sweet potato. Put it all together. I know this all looks like madness, but uh, you'll see the result when we finish. Okay, so I'm gonna put a little bit of salt in there. Right. You see our little. Uh, what is here? Just get some tomatoes. I just want to put some of the little ones, and then some of the big ones I'm gonna put on top. You're gonna watch me. Great. I think we're there. Right. Yep. Turn back on. Thank you. Thank you. Right. And down. And down. Whoa. Come up. Come up. Right. So. And I want the uh, tomatoes to be a little bit like big chunks like this, right? Nice smell coming off of these. All right, let's see how this does. Okay. And we'll see how it get going. It'll tell you what it wants to do. I think we're good. So, like that. Mm -hmm. First one's gonna go. Very nice. Very, very nice. See when it starts the air pocket starts to break through like that, that's when you know the underneath is getting ready. And that one will be ready for turning. is doing its thing. That's when you get the little bits. You put it out on top, you let them run, and then it looks like a pizza. Get a little bit more 
find them than the way I've got them. Yeah, see? And kick a pizza! Mm -hmm. Oh, so he's like, see if I can flip this one. <laughs> oh gosh, what's happening there? Is that is that responding at all? Somewhat. Well, I would just flip this, but this is my first one. So let's do it this way, that way. Ooh. Oh, it did it. <laughs> and then. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. <laughs> now that's going to do his last rites. Uh, but guys, that is our, my first pancake pizza. So you're like discovering this at the same time that I'm discovering this you know this is like a wonderful kind of thing and look how fluffy it is it's so nice man okay okay aha there you go ah uh, I can flip it yeah <laughs> uh, that's how that's how that's how pizza there look at that that looked it good! Yes! Okay. Okay. That one is done. <laughs> okay, come on. Okay, next one. This. Okay, you can just go in there because I know you this one wanna cause me all sorts of problems. I'm just going to put this one to the side. I'm just going to concentrate on this one. A new one, yeah? Okay. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Yeah. That was a nice result, man. Like that. <laughs> oh, gosh. Yes. Yes. Yeah, even the shape of that is better. Yeah, boys. Yeah, we got this. <laughs> oh my gosh. So, like, I'll tell you guys that we're doing, we're going to challenge ourselves. It's Stove Top Master. So, here at the, guy, at the um, Singing Chef GY, we're going to do 800 recipes in a row on the stove top that requires no oven or any really other any type other other type of cooking that you need that, that you can do on the stove top let's see how we go yes what 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 number are we at we must be like like 40 we're 41 okay hey you know for me that's winning because <laughs> there's so many things i'd like to show you but you know what this is like such a beautiful challenge and I love these type of recipes. They're so sexy. They're like, says, ah, that's what you want to do. Food. I'm very pleased with that. Oh my gosh. Uh, let's get to say something not to be so. Okay, I want to mix the rest of the cheese in here. You see, what you have to do is just look here. You see when it starts to pop? Just like when you're making pancakes. It's exactly the same. But you see why we call it pancake pizzas? That's why we call it pancake pizzas. Yeah, mix in that lovely cheese. Bit more salt, All right? And you know what? These ones are gonna go a little bit more spicy. Just a tad, not a lot. 
Oh, a bit more. Come on. If you're going to do it, you're going to do it. you got to be in business here. So these ones are going to be nice and spicy. Yeah. Okay. So what we have? Boom, boom, boom. Just random. I was a little bit too neat last time. It's got to be random. Like if you, you know. Like if I was making a pizza, I'd be done this four seconds at the most instead of spending all this ridiculous ungodly time. Okay. Okay. But, you know, I'm going to turn it the same way I did the last one. Because I do not want to tempt fate. Okay. Okay. And then all you have to do is just... Ready? Go back in Japan. Easy with it, easy with it, my bro. Here we go. Clean this off a little bit here. I think it's, I kind of get stuck, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Let that cook through. Where there's a will, there's a way. Look at that. Yeah, but it needs more cooking. Let it puff up here a little bit. Let it cook, let it cook, let it cook. Patience, patience, patience. Look at that, that looks amazing. It looks great. <laughs> So I just want to make four of these and then we're going to cut them up like pizzas and then, you know, do whatever we have to do to them. Okay, so we've got our saltfish pancake pizzas here, right? I'm not just going to cut them up into small pieces, right? Okay, there we go. Some nice little small pieces. Move a garnish a little bit on the side. All right, there we go. Right, and that's all, you know, you know our sami sauce that we do, which is tomato, a little bit of pepper sauce, and a mayo. And my kids name that sami sauce when they're little, and I don't know why they call it that, but I still call it that to this day. Okay, Miss Jessica, can you come up here? Yes. And we'll have, a, we'll have a go at this. This, this is our first time. Yeah, so that means if you really like to have pizza, but you don't have an oven, this is an alternative. A little bit of sami. A little bit of Sammy goes a long way. <laughs> Sammy is a whammy. I'm gonna have your reaction first. Mm. This is uncharted territory for me. Yeah, that works. Does it work? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Let's see. Well, it's good. It's kind of eggy, which is nice, but it's almost like an egg um, pie, but it's got a lot of dough in it as well. No, this holds up. And it's got a really nice taste because you have all the saltfish and the other things in there. Yeah. This is very nice. Anyway, so this is an alternative. So this is our, our well, a wonderful, actually, it turns out to be wonderful, um, saltfish uh, pancake pizza, right? Here George, from, from Georgetown, here from Georgetown, in right? In Guyana. In Guyana, um, on the Singing Chef show. So thank you, Miss Jessica, for tasting again, which is, an, which is a very <laughs> enviable or unenviable job, depending on how you look at it. Well, what I like about this is it what? actually tastes like what it sounds. Yeah. Mm. Saltfish, pancake, pizza. pizza. It tastes like all of that combined. Mm. It's like a pancake and a pizza it's too. It's a pancake pizza. Mm. Okay, so... That's lovely. Mm. So thanks, everybody. Thank you, guys for, thank you guys for tuning in. Um, thank you to TBN. 
and also remember if you want to learn all about our um, you want any more information about our tours so they got our single chef adventure tours just ring 695-9065 oh, or look us up on Facebook singing chef adventures GY bye. okay bye. but bye thank you guys for tuning in bye okay now this song here reminds me of this guy that I used to meet in um, Lava Grove this old fella that you see hang out on a corner every morning really really early thank you birdies um, love the bird song and um, I just he's he just you know we used to kind of hear me over and I just come and stop stop and his name was old Shane we used to call him old Shane and he would um, he would tell me about his life story about you know you know his wife and when he came over on the wind rush um, if you know what the wind rush is it's a ship that used to come over um, that brought a lot of West Indians to England so um, you know, it was like, and it, it's just about, you used to tell me about his history and how his life passed and then he lost his wife and all this kind of stuff. But um, he used to eat eggs all the time. That was his big thing because it's the only thing that he could cook. Oh my God. So I used to, anytime I could see him, I used to prepare the food that we cooked the night before and then he used to come and just give him a little bit and then we sit down and talk. And this story is a little bit about his life, right? Like all the highs and the lows and everything like that. And it's the whole thing, the man said, you know, make it, the sun will shine. And he said that, you know, if, so what if he makes the bus? You know that it's going to come again sometime, you know? So anyway, it's a great song. I, I like this. It's, it's, so this song is called Little Old Shane, but really the song is called Shine On You. Right, okay, let's do this. Mm -hmm. Got himself chucked up by his woman. He just got arrested, picking flowers from the nearest garden. And I was sitting by the roadside, in a little bit of contemplating, drinking a rum and dancing with himself, singing out, Big Hill Sun. Singing and dancing, he said, If only I could be me, I'd buy myself up a ring and make myself a celebrity. I'm singing now, making the sun real shine. When you miss the bus, yeah, you know it's gonna be fine. Making the sun real shine. Yeah. Mm -hmm.
say, shine on you. So welcome to the world of the singing show. Let me make you sing and you taste buds. When all we want for you to see is how we're living in a blessed country. Here we are, the singing chef. So six o'clock on Sunday morning. This is fantastic. Sunday the fourth. Um, this is Environmental Day, is it? Yes. Right. And this is, you know, just keep, you know, be, be take care of Ghana basically and keep everything clean. Look at all these wonderful people in white. And then we've got GTA right there in front of us. And then we've got dinosaurs in, in, in front there. So anyway, guys, we're gonna just continue going down. We're in front of Everett. Um, Everest. Everest Cricket Ground and. Um, we're passing this steel pan and everybody's going to celebrate and basically walk in to make sure that we take care of Guyana. Country. 